right. And here we are back with the crazy fervor build for Garen. So I've actually I've actually been thinking about reworking this build and I've come to the conclusion that a better option instead of frozen mallet for in order to keep Garen's burst damage uh, real is to use um Titanic Hydra as the first item. So there are pros and cons to this. Uh, the major cons is that you lose the CC early because of course you don't get the slow. Um, Hydra gives less HP, that's 450, which is obviously uh, going to be 250 less than uh, the mallet, which is you know kind of a deal you have to consider. And uh, another downside is that uh, Hydra is more expensive and overall less gold efficient. So like if you remove the passive from both items, the Hydra is less gold efficient than the frozen mallet. But here are the pros. We get a much better build path because you can sh you got Tiamat, a Ruby Crystal and Jorim's Fist. And depending on and depending on and depending on which um what kind of lane is going on here? You can choose whether you want to go with Jerim's Fist or Ty uh, Tiamat. Like as we all know, Tiamat is actually a pretty damn good item um, on Garen because it does a lot of damage and you can use it while you're spinning, which is pretty damn cool. <clears throat> and uh, it does a lot of damage. Or if you're right against a hard lane like Darius, you can go Jerim's Fist while retaining still a little bit of the AD you get, but with more HP and HP scaling. So that's one. That's number one pro. We get the same. Um, we get the same build overall. The same first item for pretty much every lane. All right. So like you just choose whether or not you want to finish the Tiam at first or the Jrim at first, and that's important. Then the second pro is the HP damage. We actually do more with our HP than just being a little bit tankier. We deal more damage and we get ex and we get extra wave clear, and also. We stack up fervor by just pressing auto attack, then Q, and then you use the Hydra active. That's three auto attacks in 0 0.5 seconds, well actually a little bit more. But that's three auto attacks in very quick succession. That's almost full fervor stacks and you start spinning. Given that you do more damage with each auto attack due to the increasing of the fervor stacks, you can spin four times. And then after you spawn four times, you can just auto attack for the armor shit appliant. And that's a shit ton of damage right there. That's a shit ton of damage. You are gonna kill most targets because you deal more damage via alt, via your uh, HP and your fervor. So I'm gonna try this out. I mean, on paper, this actually looks like it's gonna be damn good. We're gonna have to figure out whether or not it is in practice. So let's go. All right. So the Wukong lane is actually. It's actually it can go both ways. Because Wukong uh, has a lot of damage, and uh, he benefits a lot from lethality too, because he has armor shred as well. But we should be able to, we should be able to get some respect in this lane, because Garen needs the real spin to win master. So they've got double XL spot lane. Well, at the very least, that mid laner doesn't have that. No, he we could, they could have had the triple. Even Warwick could have gone with Exhaust, to be honest. I'm not sure good. about that. It doesn't really need flash. Uh, I guess. I'm gonna try to apply my spin to this guy first. And then Q, that way I do more damage. Because the, the problem is that you don't really use Fervor until you get the Hydra, like, unless you're auto-attacking. But that's not necessarily a too big of a downside overall. It doesn't have to be a deal-breaker. Because the damage is real, because we don't take attack speed in runes. We don't have to take attack speed in runes with this build. We can just go yeah, ahead and... Yeah, stun the Sandra. Yeah, I'll turn now. Okay, I'm zooming this guy pretty hard. Nice. Ah, sorry. So now let's push his way for we back. Make a 4 CP. There you go. Wow, well, stop. Thank you. <laughs> Don't 
That was a terrible gank. Like seriously bad. Our shape the future. Didn't even have to W. Stays, he's gonna die, so. Never forget why we fight. He's gonna TP now. We gotta go back, because if he TPs now, he's gonna have more items, so we're gonna just push this wave and go back. Hmm. Actually, he's not gonna TP, he's just gonna send a Warwick here to stall. Okay, that's Warwick Splash. I could kill him, but I don't want to risk this. I want to be able to deal with the Wukong. So I'm going to hold on to my summoners. And, okay, so Wukong has got another Doran's Blade. So I'm actually tempted to go Jirim's to make sure I get some more HP. Also, we don't have Biscuits in this rune, in this page. So we are going to go with a Refillable, which turns back into Gold Efficiency. Also, if you buy Refillable as first item, you can do that. I don't like to risk having just two potions, but you can build a Refillable. What I tend to do is I purchase the three potions and then go for Refillable. And that's going to be Gold Efficiency for... Um, about as much as the as time it takes for you to get to level 11. Until then, it's actually very gold efficient. So, um, you actually get some of the gold efficiency back from losing the the, the frozen mallet gold efficiency. So helps make that a little bit of a smaller deal. Oh shit, the minion's damage. Didn't want to tank those. We got all those, and we're stacking up health. The level six. Yeah, I I did that on purpose, you know. Mm -hmm. It was pretty obvious we were about to turn level six. This is a small trick you can do with every champion who gets a big power spike on level six. It works with everyone who's got that going on. Zed, and. I'm being ganked again. Oh, oh shit, awesome. close. I still got him though, feels good. Okay, so we can actually rush for the Tiamat now. We have a lot of health region now, thanks Wait, to Warwick the... Warwick died, right? Sorry? Warwick died, yeah, I got him. Hello, blue buff. I'm gonna get a pink ward. Actually, hold on. I can't get boots. No flash commit. And I'm lagging. Feels bad, man. Less nice. <laughs> Less nice. I, I, it's okay now. So now we have a little more health region as well, which is pretty damn nice. It's overall a pretty good build that gives a lot of stuff and makes it easier to stack up fervor, which is just the point. Makes it, makes it much more effective overall as a keystone. Wukong is missing, so you should be careful, Zinger, man. He might be coming for okay. you. Actually, he's here, never mind. I saw it. Ah, that's got your blue Yeah. I've got theirs anyways. Kappa. So you see with the whole uh, health region stuff going on, we're really hard to deal with because we constantly regen a lot and we also have our... I'm on the way. I'm not level 6 yet. Well, he's coming for you soon, so we have to commit. Oh, shite. Lissandro missing. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Can't believe he didn't die. The boots, the boots. Yep. 
Well, I mean, uh, Warwick is the villain now, so it should be alright. Okay, let me just take that out. Just get back, back to farm for this. In the king's name. Thought my ult would have killed him, but. Well, at least Wukong didn't get a double us. Yeah, well, it's not that big a deal. Now we got a Tayama and we can buy boost as well, so... It's gonna help make things a little more... Uh, further easier. So now we actually, like, when you buy Tayama, you get a lot... You get a pretty big power spike, because you can use this while you're spinning like this. See? That's extremely powerful. That's really, really good. You get an easy... Okay, it even cleared the control ward. Nice. Um... <clears throat> You get an easy damage boost and more health regen, which is damn good. And you also get more wave clear, so your auto attacks are much more deadly, mu much more important as a factor. And your wave clear benefits from this a lot, like, look at this. Look at this. I got all of those creeps. Oh shit, sorry man, I need to ping it. I'm on the way. Okay, he's going back. It's so, like... When you see a minion getting lower, ah shit, didn't didn't quite manage to do that. But I mean the point, you get the point. That's what you can do. That's an option for you. So you see that's another easily won trade. Still thanks to the Tayaman active, which is damn good. Is the first of many An ally has been slain. I stand ready. Big big power spike. Too bad you smited the wrong one. Well, the thing is, I input the command to smite him, but when he clones, it automatically goes onto the clone. Yeah, and it, it's the same as my silence, although sometimes, sometimes, it does actually apply to the right, you know, enemy. I guess it's a matter of luck. How's he doing on HP? Yeah, he's doing fine on HP, but he's really low on mana. You want to get that? An ally has been slain. Can you have less HP, please? We had, um, I think, fifteen. It's bad. Dive him, but it's risky and I'm being ganked, so. Okay, he's pushing, he's moving into gank. So I'm just missing. Oh shit, I ignited the wrong person, I think. Damn, I could have just killed him, but I couldn't ult in time. I'm gonna go for. Hold on. Mm. Mm, I think Mercs are a better call this game, which is a reason for delaying boots and finishing the Hydra right on. Uh, going for. We can actually finish it now. Okay, so now I'm gonna try to go with the auto attack thing. That it's the entire point of this uh, of this build. So we'll see if it works and how it goes. So the b the objective here is to auto attack Q Hydra, but you can Q auto attack Hydra ide identically. It works pretty well as well. You don't have to necessarily get the first auto attack in because sometimes they just won't allow you to get that. So 
I think this guy will get my tower. We'll see. I gave it up. Good. You can't use the Hydra while spinning anymore, but, you know, that wasn't necessarily the whole point. The point here is to do the auto attack thing. We're gonna try this uh, on the w Wukong is actually the kind of champion in which you can use, you can do that perfectly unless you silence him first. But there's only one for the CS, pretty hard. We can actually damage him by just using the Hydra. Nice, that's the first tower. I'll see if I can do anything mid. <coughs> yeah, I have team boost exhaust. Stun, everything ready. Uh, we can be aware of the warrior though. There he is. So you see the damage? You see the damage? Like, that's extreme, alright? That's fucking extreme. That was two auto attacks in extremely quick succession. You didn't see that? You didn't see that? No, I was thinking man didn't see that, right? Well, you will soon. He will soon. I'm gonna do this all the time. That's no, much I mean, easier. Right. See? That's another auto attack cancel. I mean, that is so effective. We are 80 casters, alright? So, if we use the. Co if we can cancel auto attacks better, that's even stronger. And look at the wave clear. Look at how much quicker you can wave clear with this. I think this is gonna be amazing. I think this is really gonna become meta. I don't know where this other zone could be. She shouldn't have her ulti. Oh, but it's fine. Uh, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. No, I'm good. I still got my ignite, but I'd rather not. Oh shit! The snare. I'm sorry, man. Didn't have my silence. I did not expect the damage of Wukong. It's her. Ah, well. He's, he's going to lethality. Yeah, been. I mean, I'm sorry. That Warwick is going to squishy build. Nice. They're most likely at our blue. Hold on, I'm gonna clear this and then go. Or at least it should be. Someone is here. There it is. They're really mad at me, but won't be won't make a difference. The blue is the blue is secure. Nice idea, where is he? I don't think he's even in the call, but... No, he isn't. Feels bad. I'm gonna go get top tower. Uh, oh shit. CC chain is a pretty big deal. Ah, I was about to flash. Just had to get closer to the wall. Okay, so I can get my mercs now. All right, so once you got the, once you got the, yeah, right. <laughs> once you got the Titanic Hydra, you can go for another uh, health item, and you gotta choose that based on the enemy team's composition. Like they don't have tanks because they're all going squishy build. I mean, Warwick is gonna go for Hydra, but that's HP stacking, so we don't need armor shred, so we don't have to get a Black Cleaver. We can go for a Frozen Mallet this game, or a Sterix Gauge. Now, let's take a look at their burst damage. It's definitely there, so I think the Sterix Gauge might be better than the Frozen Mallet in this case. And we don't really need to slow anyone, because we have the auto attack cancel stuff going on, so we can just go for a Sterix Gauge. That's, that's probably the better call. 
we're gonna stack up further health and do extra damage with the <clears throat> with the Titanic Hydra, which is pretty damn good. <laughs> All right, she has exhaust. <laughs> Kind of caught me off guard. Uh, we should get out of here. No. I'm lagging oh, so got it. if I die. Don't be save me. And the wave clear is definitely there. I'm gonna call my worth in this one. Feels bad. Our deeds shape the future. <laughs> Alright, we can get this tower really quickly now. Alright. Your turret has been destroyed. Black Cleaver and Trinity Force actually work well with this because you get the movement speed from auto attacks, which makes it a little bit easier to auto attack three times, but once you get your Q movement speed, that usually is enough. Let's see if we can kill this Sandra. Yeah, she did. This one? What the hell? They didn't even take my rest. Because to work as company, so I don't want to go over with him. I'm going to go for the Wukong. Push top lane a little bit more. This build actually makes you a lot more dangerous without your ult as well. Because you auto your auto attacks do so much damage. So... Wukong is running, it's coming mid lane for sure. I'm gonna push this and try to eat you guys as well, be careful. I'm going for the blue buff too, actually, now that I think of it. Let me just hold on and check it out. Alright, looks like it's safe. Uh, Zinger, let's get you the blue buff real fast. Although, mid lane. We gotta help the. Uh... So do you see the damage from those auto attacks? That's totally not normal for Garen, it's new. Let's go close the You can just uh, take take the blue buff and get it, just in case I start lagging or What did you say you don't want Boomer? No, uh, just in case I start lagging and then it's totally useless on me. So, ah. Just take it. I think Warwick is gonna go for his uh, red buff, so we're gonna try to get him a surprise. Let's see. Alright, let's just wait it out. Why did they all back though? I have no idea. I don't know why. I don't want to do it. It's illegal, okay. dude. Do you see the shit ton of damage this does? Like, do you see the power of auto attacks with the build? She totally failed that. Let's get that red buff. Let's get me that red buff. That's a shit ton more damage than we normally would have with auto attacks. That's why I love it. Even Q auto attack is enough to get some of the fervor, some of the fervor of battle working. We should try to get the tower. Yeah, I have uh, Tibris ready. This guy missed another ult. They've got a lot of life here. Quite. 
Although I guess I can just split push on the Alba. See? That's another easy war destruction with the So you see your weight clear benefits a lot from that as well. For instance, with all those auto attack cancel, you can actually see that's exactly what you want to do. That's that's nice. Tell me when uh, on at least. I guess that'll mark it. I don't have vision, so careful. Wukong. Wukong is missing from top lane. Alright, we can, can actually go back, we have a lot of gold. I'm gonna push one more wave. Yeah, there we go, I'm on my way now. Also, let's send our ult. You can actually Brand set up your uh, Hydra active for the first auto attack. Like, if you have to, if you know you're gonna have to burst, to use the simple burst instead of, uh, you know. Indeed. Oh shit, I'm being chased. And then the Baron kills me. <laughs> Yeah. I tried to save you there. Uh, yeah, thank you. Don't worry. And now we have a dead man's blade, so that's 500 more HP. And the cleaver, actually, sorry, the hydra starts doing even more damage. So like, that's 35 attack damage plus 36 bonus damage on on hit. Hello there. It's like, it's 35 plus 36 damage on hit, so it's basically like having 70 AD, which is the same as the Ravenous, except you get the cleave, uh, which you can actually empower as well, which is damn good. I mean, it, it, it's really effective. It feels the same as the Mala build, just a little bit less health, but overall. You can just uh, push the lane all you want. Alright, we'll do. They've used all their ulties. Not like you can die anyways with this build. This world needs a it's pretty tanky overall. It's tankier than the assassin one, of course. I mean... Nice one to be careful, man. The Sunder did use her ult. Oh, yeah. But three with me. Oh, um, those don't have full armor. Yeah. Oh. We do have okay, double mountain right. drake, so if you can just keep spray pushing. I can do that, well. but you guys need to pressure other lanes or I died like this. Yeah, well, we got the second mountain drake by us having a sort of a brawl. Mm -hmm. The only problem with the build is the CDR, so, like, if you, if you choose to build a Serx Gauge, you end up with no CDR at all. Which is necessarily not not necessarily a huge issue, but because I guess you can actually get some from runes if it's really that much of an of a problem. But I mean, once you start getting the other items, you can figure out whether you want to have a spare visage, which actually provides CDR like this way. But overall, I don't think that's necessarily the problem of the build because you can you can actually go for for black lever or Trinity Force. I mean, either is effective. You, of course, with black lever, you actually make more. Out of the um, out of the Hydra passive because you get more health. Like the Trinity Force gives you <clears throat> 250 health. Black Lever gives you 400, but overall it's still a pretty damn good upgrade.
I'm splitting again. Keep pushing. If Wukong TPs, it's gonna be worse for us. Cause And that's Jinx. You just dealt with that, so I don't You have to push him. somewhere else, guys. I can't stay. We just got a bot tower and we had to recall. Oh. See? See how much damage that was? It that's was three auto attacks. Jinx. Yeah, I mean, it's about anyone. It's the same. It's more damage than the assassin build. Ah, she got it. Don't go, don't go, don't go! Sorry, what did you say? I couldn't hear you. Never mind. I guess you didn't notice, I'm fed. Oh, right, I already ulted. Damn. Nice. That Jinx ult. Well. And you can go back to being frontline as, as Garen with this build. Like, you can just get back the same frontline kind of deals that. Ooh, ouch. The Zhonya plus ulti combo is pretty nasty. We're going flash down. Alright. It's actually why I think I'm gonna sell the Serx gauge and go for a Black Cleaver. Just thinking this might be the better call. CDR and uh, overall damage because Black Cleaver actually provides more AD and more health. Ooh, third mountain drag. Better be juicy. Well, we can actually get that. Mm -hmm. Silence. We got him. I silenced him because he ulted me while my silence was already set, being set up, so... Dead splash. Aye, aye. Oh shit, I thought he was gonna go back. That's what I hate about Wukong, he can just go stealth. That's what I just hate about stealth. Ah, uh, this time you're dead, bitch. You live once, you don't live twice. Yo, world! Wukong used to keep getting out.
Dead man's. Dead man's. Dead man's. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Dead man's blade, man. So you see, this is just and too good. And you're not being hunted anymore because of your region. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get back and get our spare visage. See ya. And now we can actually go for maybe a last whisper. So as you can see, we're tanky as shit. Like if we build another resistance item that provides both HP and armor, actually I'm gonna go for Randuins now. You can see that we are tanky as hell because we got 4.5k HP. Our Hydra actually gives, matter of fact, something like 80 AD, over 80 AD, and the damage from the auto attack cancel is insane. So, we can actually go ahead and uh, do this. And if we actually built a Frozen Mallet, maybe it would have been a better buy right now. I think I should have built a Frozen Mallet rather than either Black Cleaver or Sterex, but you see the point. You have a lot of options. They probably don't need me, so... Yeah. And the wave clear benefits a lot. Like, seriously. Yeah, it's full builds. Easy with jungle items, though. Damn it. The CD on the Hydra active is also pretty short overall, so it's you have it at your disposal when you need it. <laughs> I got exhausted by things. I Did I that. seriously just silence a minion? Yep. I saw that. She got lucky, yeah. Oh, must be okay. Do you see the, those autos damage? That's pretty cool, right? And this is isn't that a little overkill? Probably is. Yeah, shit. See you later. <laughs> Yay, and then I'm gonna sustain and go back in, of course. It's not like I'm leaving. Actually, I should leave, because Warwick... <laughs> He's hunting me, I am so afraid. I don't know, he might open. Look at the damage. Yeah, the damage is pretty serious. Bye! I did have that as a backup plan. The only reason he did dealt damage was because he was doing three arrow attacks a second. Pretty much. And this one. I do s I am tanky and I still do damage. I mean, that's the entire point. This is extremely effective. Okay, so if Blitz lands a hook, which we which you will, because he's got a dead man's blade. Cancer crank. See those auto attack cancels? How how many times I can auto attack in quick succession? Look at this. I mean, and I still get so much damage from my from my casted <laughs> abilities. I got him! I got him! Oh, the red buff. No, it was the it's fine. GG. So it, it, it just works. I, I I'm I'm really looking forward to see the video. I didn't pay much attention to your lane. Oh, the shit! Look. Oh, it's all right, man. You you can see this. Uh, you you're gonna see it. it. It's really easy. It's really.